Yesterday, we introduced you guys to the clan capital, showed you how to forge capital gold, and showed off the first two districts inside of the clan capital. And today, we're unlocking our next two districts, Balloon Lagoon and Builder's Workshop, but we'll also be showing off a brand new troop that's never been seen in Clash of Clans. What's going on Clash Bashes? Rocky here today and today we're going to continue our journey through the clan capital by upgrading our capital peak to level 4. This is going to unlock our next district. So if we go back to the map we will now see Balloon Lagoon has unlocked and this one is very similar to the other ones. We're going to have to rebuild and unlock some buildings. And just in case you missed how to upgrade your capital hall or even the district halls check out yesterday's video for the that guide right off the bat here in balloon lagoon you'll notice we get rocket balloon barracks meaning we have a brand new troop unlocked so this is going to add to our artillery and honestly the rocket balloons are pretty nice one of my favorite units in the game and notice we also have a barracks ruin that we can rebuild to unlock the skeleton barrels you guys may remember skeleton barrels from a uh, temporary events but now they are here in the clan capital so now we will have them unlocked and added to our artillery Arsenal. And of course we have more ruins to rebuild, but there's a ruin that isn't ready to rebuild yet that I'm really excited to show off here today. And that's going to be this ruin over here because this one is going to unlock our flying fortress. You may have seen that big flying ship with a cannon. That's called a flying fortress. And the flying fortress is going to unlock at district hall level two for balloon lagoon. So we're going to get there here today, but let's go ahead. Let's unlock these ruins here uh, and rebuild this. You'll notice we'll get a crusher. You guys might be familiar with a crusher and even air bombs. I mean, we saw air bombs already. So a lot of familiar stuff here. I really love the aesthetic of this. Like it really does tie everything all together here. We need a little bit more capital gold, which of course we can get by returning home and going to the forge and crafting some with our loot and then waiting out that time and remember guys crafting capital gold does use a builder and home village but let's continue our journey let's keep rebuilding here guys oh there's so much cool stuff look at this guys hidden mega teslas not just mega teslas not just hidden tesla hidden mega teslas that's ridiculous i love it i love it so much uh and then we got some bombs right here some beautiful stuff we need a little bit more but we need to keep progressing here because balloon lagoon unlocked our rocket loons and our skeleton barrel but we really want that flying fortress it's going to pair really well with our rocket loons so to get to that flying fortress we need to be able to upgrade this district hall to level two and as you see here we need to get our capital hall to level five so let's see what's needed for that and returning to capital peak if we click on our capital hall it'll tell us exactly what we need to do guys and we need to upgrade a 53 more buildings to be able to upgrade that so let's go ahead and let's do just that and you can upgrade anything in any district but i think we're gonna go revisit wizard valley here and upgrade our district hall because it's going to unlock the jump spell factory an additional army camp along with all of these defenses for this district so this will be really nice we'll have a new spell we'll also have more army camp space so let's go ahead and do just that and then we need to get more capital gold so we can unlock the jump spell factory here all right we should be able to fill this up and there we go jump spell factories unlocked and then let's get that army camp unlocked as well that way we can have a little bit more troop space that gave us 30 more troop space along with that jump spell and after a few more upgrades in wizard valley we're actually able to upgrade our capital hall which will give us builders workshop our next next district as well so a lot of progress being made here guys like oh super excited make sure you guys stay tuned because we will do some live attacking using some of those new units that we've unlocked and using that brand new flying fortress you're not going to want to miss the flying fortress in action and by getting our capital hall to level five we actually unlock builders workshop hopping right in here guys we get a lot of great stuff look at this we have log traps these are really cool and like they're just really cool to watch they will take out a group of sneaky archers if you're not careful i also see some what appear to be uh uh, hidden mega tessels. Oh, yeah. These, these are my favorite things, guys. The hidden mega tessels are beautiful. But look at this. We also have a zap trap, which pops up and zaps units. But I see a barracks here. We got a raid cart barracks, which means we're going to get a raid cart unit, which is going to be cannon carts with some barbarians. These guys are really fun to use. So we're making some really nice progress on our capital, guys. Like, we're really getting... 
We're really getting along here really nicely. But I want to get to the Flying Fortress. That, let's be honest, that's what we're all here for, right guys? The Flying Fortress. So let's hop back over to Balloon Lagoon, and this is where the Flying Fortress is. But remember, we need to upgrade our District Hall to level two, and we were able to do that by getting our Capital Hall to level five. Again, guys, it all works together. Upgrade one to get the other type of deal. So let's go ahead and let's see, we get Lightning Spells also. So a brand new spell. The Lightning Spell is really interesting in the Capital, but we get that Flying Fortress yard along with rocket artillery so let's go ahead let's contribute let's get that upgraded and then we have to rebuild here and with our final contribution here we will actually unlock the flying fortress yard which gives us that brand new flying fortress unit and let's check this guy out let's just hop right into action using the flying fortress all right guys so let's give the brand new flying fortress a go here one thing i want you guys to note it has a housing space of 100 so it is a pretty hefty unit but it is going to target defenses and it spawns skeletons to defend itself and it'll actually drop 24 skeletons when it dies so let's go ahead and hit balloon lagoon here and we got a pretty wide deployment area let's see we got air bombs kind of all around i'm kind of thinking we go in this way here so let's do just that let's go in with our flying fortress here and i kind of want to see where it settles and then place the heal there so we can actually drop our lightning spell and deal direct damage there and then we can go ahead and place in our flying fortress and then wherever it's going to kind of like camp out like right there all right perfect i'm going to go ahead and drop the heal in there and then while it's locked on i'm going to go ahead and throw those rocket loons in there and then we'll throw in minions through there just to kind of clear up and then once that bomb tower goes down nice i'm going to go ahead and throw in my ram oh no Battle Ram almost got taken out. And this should open up our deployment area a little bit here. Ooh, a hidden Mega Tesla up top. But I think between the Fortress and the Rocket Loons, we should be able to get that down. And we got our minions working on our deployment area. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. This is a really good opener because it's going to open up a lot of the base here through the backside. We actually even have minions coming over to work on the District Hall. But look at that, guys. That Rocket Artillery. It does splash damage, so against the Flying Fortress, it's not as effective as maybe if we were using a bunch of Rocket Loons. Maybe I'll use a bunch of Rocket Loons to show you guys what I mean to kind of show off that defense, because I feel like we focus on offense a ton. Maybe we show off a little bit of defense here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in those minions there, uh, and just try to get through this area a little bit. Oh no, oh no, Flying Fortress! Flying Fortress is getting taken out. Rip the dream. But the District Hall should go down, and the Splash actually killed all the Skeletons, so you guys didn't get to see the Skeletons. But these guys are going to get down the District Hall and that Barracks, which should open up a little bit here. But I want to show you guys the Splash of the Rocket Artillery. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw in some Loons here so you guys can see how this Rocket Artillery works. Like, this thing is pretty nasty. Let's just spam in a bunch of Loons here because the first one should go down pretty quickly, but look at that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dirty, guys. That is pretty dirty. So you have to be aware of what units are going to deal splash damage and which units are not going to deal splash damage. That's going to be really important as you're kind of working through here. But let's see if we can set ourselves up nicely for the next one here. Maybe even drop in a heal over here uh, for the next attack or so. Let's go with more rocket loons, see if we can get these air bombs out. So I just wanted to demonstrate that we do have to get through those that rocket artillery at some point but i'm going to try to open up this side and just see if we can get through here a little bit and get some of these defenses down well, let's see maybe we can go like this go like this here all right nice working cooking cooking working all right so that that's a good example of how those rocket artilleries can really be nasty to go up against let's see if we can finish this base off in the next couple attacks so i'm going to go back to my flying fortress here and i think i'm going to go ahead and put it in up top here uh, I was hoping it would go over to the rocket artillery, but that's fine. We do have a heal spell over there we can take advantage of. But let's see. We're ducking and dodging and moving. We really just need to get that rocket artillery out, which we should be able to pretty nicely. And then we can place this heal a little bit further in. All right, nice. Working, getting through, taking quite a bit of damage. Those rocket artilleries are no joke, but now we should be pretty good. And then we can actually, we'll have skeletons working through here. I wonder if the skeletons will backtrack enough to get through there. All right, so I think we're going to heal through here and allow this to work there. Nice. And then we can actually fly right over here with the rocket loons. Perfect. Oh, ooh, but that hidden Mega Tesla does some nice work on us. All right, good. GG, GG to that. 
Let's uh, open that up because we can. And I'm pretty sure we're going to want to open this up for deployment reasons. So let's go ahead and do just that. All right, beautiful. Just for the deployment area. Hit a Mega Tesla goes down. Nice, guys. Nice. We're getting through here. And I think this cannon is pretty low. So let's see if we can get that cannon out. And then we just have a little bit left here to try to finish this base off. We're pretty good. We're, we're pretty good. I mean, we still have quite a bit. But it might be time to, like, go with half ground, half air here. I don't know. Those air bombs are a little bit intimidating. But look at that. Our fortresses still go. Oh, my goodness, guys. This fortress does so much work. I thought we were, like, done for. But really, like, we're good here, man. We are so good. Nice. Good value. And then we'll have our skeletons come out and just do some more work. Oh, skeletons OP, guys. Skeletons OP. We might even be able to, like, rocket loon that compartment right there. Yeah, that might work out, and then we can go with a fortress through the air bombs on the top side. Let's try that out. All right, let's see if we can finish this one off, guys. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with two rocket loons through here. I think I'm going to actually heal them up. I know that seems weird, but I want to make sure they get that whole compartment down. And then we're going to go like this with our fortress, and then we'll lightning through there. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Nice. Now we do need to be careful of the air bombs, but let's go ahead and throw in our minions to just work through this backside and clean up a little bit. Perfect, perfect. Air bomb's gonna go down. We have our rocket loons coming in the tank a little bit. Nice, guys, this is working, it's working. Are we gonna get it? It's gonna be close. It's actually gonna be really close. We need to get through that bomb tower and then the skeleton should have enough to finish it off, I think. If we get through the bomb tower, nice. Bomb tower goes down. I think the skeletons will finish it. Yeah, we're good, guys, we're good. Maybe, we're good. Yeah, skeletons will get that. Uh, they can't hit the skeletons, so the skeletons will finish off. It was close, but that's our first look at the Flying Fortress. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? I love the Flying Fortress. One of my favorite units in the clan capital, and we finished that one off with a three-star. And to finish off here, guys, let's take a look at these two districts maxed out completely at level five. You can see these things are looking really intimidating here at Balloon Lagoon. And over at Builder's Workshop, you may see another new new defense the blast bow so once you get these things upgraded man it's gonna be really really crazy really really strong and intimidating to go against but have no fear if you get your flying fortress maxed out that baby will do you right you'll have plenty of space to even run two flying fortresses once you get your army camps all the way maxed out so that you can send two flying fortresses at that capitol hall and hope hope to take it down guys because the capitol hall is going to be really strong also there's a lot that's going to go into this man it's going to be so much fun i can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it let me know in the comments what are you guys thinking of the sneak peek so far because tomorrow we have even more sneak peeks for you guys we're going to take a look at the last two districts oh you, trust me you're gonna want to stick around there may or may not be another new unit to look at we'll talk about that tomorrow hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing